The American Society of Civil Engineers say that altogether we need $6.1 trillion over a 10 year period to fix all of our nation's infrastructure. That's a lot larger than current plan in the Biden administration called the American Jobs Plan, uh, two and a quarter trillion, of which about a trillion is solely on for infrastructure projects. There is not a citizen in this country who will not benefit from a national infrastructure bank. Everybody will. Every generation that comes after us will. And we're going to start now. A new infrastructure bank will help us do the big things required of a great nation. This bank is structured to cover $5 trillion worth of infrastructure projects in the United States. And the National Infrastructure Bank just doesn't take care of roads and bridges. It builds high-speed rail. It offers the opportunity for broadband. It also takes care of our low-income housing. And this is big. I think it's time for America to start thinking big again. There is simply no way to finance this through budgets. It's just impossible. Every time we've done a National Infrastructure Bank, the four times in our past history, they never thought they'd ever end with a profit. Every time they ended in the black. Now we have this opportunity to create a fifth National Infrastructure Bank, which will provide the funding without adding on to budget deficits. It will make money for governments. It returned money in the past to governments and it will do so again. The infrastructure projects can be equally spread over both red states and blue states. It can be shaped in a way that equally provides benefits and improvements to our urban areas and our rural ones. This iteration of the bank will work just like Alexander Hamilton's first bank of the United States. It will be capitalized using existing treasury debt held by the private sector. And then when it gives out loans, it will give out loans in the same manner as any commercial bank gives out a loan, but only for infrastructure projects. If you're worried about fiscal policy and our, our deficit, this is sound fiscal policy. This is putting our national debt to work in a, a positive way. How great would it be that we are putting 25 million people to work, if not more? We have a chance not just to build bridges and improve broadband, but to really change people's lives. This is a movement that we're going to look back one day and say, thank God that we were part of this movement. It's an honor to think that we can make a true change in the United States that will last for, the, the, for a very long time. It's definitely an idea whose time has come. This is going to ensure a better future for my children and my grandchildren and everyone's children. I grew up in the city of Detroit, the home of the original middle class. One person could take care of a, a family. This is an opportunity to return to such times and even improve it. This is a matter of great urgency. The American Society of Civil Engineers in their report entitled The Failure to Act estimates that every American household loses an average of $3,300 per year for every year that our infrastructure is not brought up to par. Please add your name to our open letter to Congress.